Tourists are always looking for souvenirs to remember their trip to Washington. But not long ago, instead of buying postcards or taking pictures of local landmarks, historians say Americans would take pieces of those historic sites in chips and chunks. Mike Kinnean tells us a new exhibit reveals some of those very unique relics in the Smithsonian's collection. Inside the Smithsonian Castle, tucked behind some classic keepsakes like snow globes and shot glasses, tourists can browse some unique souvenirs, but these are not for sale. They're relics from a time when museums and the concept of historic preservation did not exist. The other word that comes up in association with Relic Hunter is vandal. <laughs> the new exhibit, Souvenir Nation, features a fragment of the Washington Monument's cornerstone, a piece of George Washington's coffin, wood chops by Abraham Lincoln, and a chunk of Plymouth Rock. A hammer was kept on site to chip away pieces of it. And the neat thing about the exhibition is it shows that how we've kind of grown away from chipping away our heritage to collecting it and preserving it. Curator William Byrd says these artifacts are priceless, not just because of their historical context, but also because without that context, many would literally have no value. Most of these things are actually little pieces of wood, little pieces of stone. One display generating a lot of discussion and disbelief is this collection of hair from the nation's founding fathers. The president's hair locks freak me out. Can you imagine doing that with Barack Obama today or George Bush? No. Is their hair even long enough? I don't even <laughs> I don't even know how to get that from Barack Obama. Probably be a national security threat if you tried. At the time, Bird says human hair was requested and clipped much like autographs today. Then, uh, in the mid-19th century, it was a quite a common thing that people would ask people for locks of hair in terms of their own sentiment or their interest. But to ask for a piece of someone's anatomy uh, just it speaks to a whole lots of personal boundary issues. Those uh, mores have certainly changed in that regard. The exhibit opens to the public Friday, August 9th. Admission is free. Reporting on the National Mall, Mike Kinnean, News Channel 8.